Life can be complicated, and one of the challenges that makes things so complex is how four people can see one thing four different ways. Now, let's go ahead and add Chewbacca, lightsabers, Darth Sidious, Emperor Palpatine, and we're working towards a story that's almost as unique as the boy telling it. No, I'm not talking about Star Wars. I'm actually talking about the movie Wonder, and we're gonna dive into that film right now. The trailers lead us to believe that primarily, this story is about a boy with a facial disfigurement. And while that's partially true, it doesn't really capture what the essence of this movie is at its core. At its core, at the heart of this film, it explores the belief that being different doesn't make you better or worse. Instead, it makes available the opportunity for you to bring something special and something unique to those around you. It shows us that simply by being ourselves, if we're brave enough, if we're strong enough to achieve this in a world full of imitators, we open up the perspective and the feelings of those who long to understand. We can make a difference in the lives of strangers, friends, and family simply by following our hearts and leading with kindness. So how does this story do all of that? Let's talk about the Pullman family. The Pullman family consists of four people, two parents, two children. Augie being the youngest, who's the boy with the facial disfigurement, he's getting ready to start the fifth grade. Now, starting the fifth grade typically wouldn't be that big of a deal. You're just going from one grade to another. I'm sure most of us remember the transition from grade to grade not really being a very big deal or really anything of note. However, for Augie, he's actually being moved from homeschool to a private school. And that's gonna be his first interaction really outside of the family with kids when his parents aren't around to protect him. So for Augie, this is a very big deal. And as one would expect, because we've all been children before and we know that whenever something different is involved, kids can kind of be mean, they can be comedic, you can have some touching heartfelt moments when kids are helping each other. We all remember the playground. We all remember schoolyard rules. Some kids are bullies. Some kids are nice. And this film covers it all. However, what's actually unexpected is the method of storytelling used to present us with all of this information that we're already familiar with because we were kids once before. And another part of storytelling that was nice is we get a lot of backstory on Augie and his family. We understand who they are what their roles are in the family, their perspectives and viewpoints, their outlooks, why they do what they do, why they feel the way they feel, and why they react the way they react. Augie's parents are played by Julia Roberts and Owen Wilson, and they are thoughtful, attentive, and nurturing parents. Truth be told, when I walked into the theater, I was a little concerned about their on-screen chemistry and how I was going to actually feel about their relationship as husband and wife, because the trailers really didn't give me anything to work with. I was kind of like low expectations for their performance as husband and wife. But once the movie got going and everything is up and running, all of that concern was alleviated and I actually got a performance from them that was very touching and real. Now there's all kinds of different married couples we've seen in film. You have those starstruck lovers who are very just on top of each other all the time. You've got the parents who are just bitter and angry at each other, but they stay together for the kids. We've seen a lot of married couples on film throughout the years. But in this last year, I don't really remember seeing a couple that had a dynamic like what they brought in this film. They didn't come across as passionate lovers. They didn't come across as two people who are just together for the sake of their children because one of their children has a disfigurement. They came across as best friends who are also in love with each other. And I loved that delivery for these two characters. And because their relationship was so unique and refreshing and very special as best friends who were also lovers, but best friends at its core, they supported each other, they believed in each other, and they also knew when they had to back off from each other because the squabbles that they get into felt very real as well. This story also dares to look at change and it explores the belief that there's always two sides to every story or in this movie's case, there might be three or four sides to every one story. As the film progresses, we get to see multiple viewpoints from the different characters over specific events that happen to them in the film, which I thought really helped kind of flesh out these characters. And while every actor was already giving a performance that I felt was believable for their role, no matter their age, whether they were kids, teachers, the parents, all of them I thought were very believable and they delivered very well. 
It was these little moments where they show us the view of life from these different people that I really enjoyed and I thought did a fantastic job actually diving into these characters and making me believe and just kind of walking me into this world that this story is telling. And at one point in the film, it even examines the question without directly asking the question. When your friends move on, does that make them a mean person? Or is there something else going on leading them to that change? And to build on that, we're reminded in this story that there is always so much more going on in the hearts and minds of people than we're ever privileged to know. If this film did anything well, which this film actually did a lot of things very well, but one specifically, it does a great job of reminding us of that fact about relationships and life. Wonder is playing in your local movie theater right now, and I am definitely recommending a big screen viewing for this film. I walked out of the movie just so touched and feeling blessed to have been able to spend time in the theater with this family for this story. This film is easily in my top 10 films of this year right now. Now there's still a few more films that have yet to hit theaters this year that I'm excited to see. So my top 10 could still fluctuate. However, this film is so honest, heartfelt, touching, emotional, and real that I'm almost leaning towards that this will not budge from the top 10. It may shift in position, but it definitely feels like Wonder will be in the top 10 for 2017 for this guy. And right when the movie ended, I was so touched by this film and the way that it was delivered, I got out my iPhone and I was texting my family and I told, I told them all, I said, look, this is a great family movie. You guys gotta go see this and it's kid friendly. So take the kids to see it. This is a great family movie for the holidays. I can't sing this film's praises enough. It is a well acted, well written and a well delivered story about how even the smallest of us can inspire change with the right attitude and a big open heart. Wonder is playing at your local movie theater right now and this is the first film in 2017 that is getting all the high fives from this guy. It's not getting one high five. It's not getting two high fives. It's getting all the high fives. This movie is fantastic. Check it out. Hi, I'm Jeremy Bernanski, and you've just finished watching a movie review on Bernanski's vlog. Along with the movie reviews and the weekly show, we also do the certified rad segments and the movie news breakdown, which you may want to check out. All right, everybody, we'll see you next Monday for a brand new episode of Bernanski's vlog, Monday morning, 10 a.m. PST. See you there. Have a great week.